G'day folks, it's Andrew and Lynn here from Einhorn Travel Accessories and today we're going to show you around our adopted hometown of Basel in Switzerland. In our videos we try to give you real practical travel tips to help you plan your travel. But before we get started, just wanted to touch on COVID-19. It's early May 2020 in Switzerland, it's just starting to emerge from the lockdown. So some of the footage may seem overly devoid of people. But we sincerely hope that you and your loved ones are safe and healthy and we thank you for your interest in our channel. Now as you can probably tell from our accents, we're not really Swiss. We are in fact Australians. However, we've lived here in Basel for the last seven years and that gives us, gives us somewhat of a unique perspective, I think. We're not a tourist, but we're also not a local. For those of you who have visited or lived here, please feel free to add your own thoughts, suggestions and experiences to ours by commenting on the comment section in the video below. Now stay with us as we show you around our adopted hometown of Basel. Enjoy. So there is evidence of settlement around the current location of Basel from around the 5th century before Christ. The Romans established a settlement centered around Kaiser Augst around 44 BC. Basel is now Switzerland's third largest city with a population of around about 200,000 people. It's a key centre of learning, culture and pharmaceutical research and development as well as manufacturing. It's indeed a great place to visit or to live. And we've lived here for over seven years now and we've enjoyed it immensely. We'd like to give a special shout out to Supercar Blondie. As fellow Aussies with a strong Swiss connection, we just wanted to let you know that we love your work. Hauptschweiz. And we'd love you to become a member of our world-famous Basel Dragons AFL footy club. And believe it or not, there is an actual AFL football league here in Switzerland. We had our inaugural season last year and we're hoping to go on to much bigger and better things. Basel is nestled right up in the northwestern corner of Switzerland, bordering both France and Germany. You can actually visit the Dry Landeck, where the corners of the three countries come together, and it's one of the few places in the world where you actually have three countries coming together. You can arrive into Basel by plane via the Euro Airport Basel Mulhouse, but when you exit the airport, make sure you choose the correct exit, as there is a French, a Swiss, and a German exit out of the airport. You can also arrive into Zurich Airport and catch the train from the Zurich Flughafen to the Basel SBB Hauptbahnhof. And this takes about 90 minutes and it's super, super convenient. You can also arrive by train from within Switzerland or from outside of Switzerland in France or Germany. It's around about three hours to and from Basel to Frankfurt Flughafen um, on one of the super fast German ICE trains. Likewise, it's about three hours or so from Basel to paris Gare lyon on the French high-speed TGV train service. And you can look at the video we made a couple of months back now when we travelled to Paris by train for a weekend, and the link is in the description below. You can also arrive into Basel by car, um, as Basel is just across the border from both France and Germany. In fact, the closest supermarket to our apartment is over the border in Germany, in Glenzach. Um, there are no passport checks across the border, so getting across the border is basically the same as driving from anywhere to anybody else, anywhere else. Basel is also one of the key stops along the Rhine for many of the river cruises, like Viking cruises, for example. Let's talk about where to stay in Basel. The first thing you've got to get your head around is that Switzerland is expensive. There's no way around it. It's either the most expensive or the second most expensive country in the world. So you've just got to be prepared for that when you visit. If money is no object, then you could try Le Trara, the, the Dry Koenig, the Three Kings Hotel down on the banks of the Rhine near Schifflander. Um, extraordinarily beautiful um, property, but very, very expensive. 
if you peg it back a little bit, you've got hotels like the Schwitzerhof near the Hauptbahnhof or the Hotel Victoria, um, both very nice properties and um, you know reasonable sort of price point. And then you've got a, a range of Novotels and Ibis hotels, um, you know, within Basel that are quite reasonably priced. If you'd like to, you can also stay in a hotel across the border, just across the border in France or in Germany. They're a lot a lot cheaper there, but you do have to go backwards and forwards across the border. Um, or you can look at Airbnb options around Basel. There's some very reasonably priced options um, you know, through Airbnb. One thing that is good is that the tram ticket is included in the cost of your hotel room. So you can move freely around the town with that tram ticket for the duration of your stay. Um, and if, for example, you wanted to stay in St. Louis just across the border in France, there's a number 600 bus which goes straight from St. Louis uh, into Basel. Or you can also catch the tram across the border there as well. So Basel has a number of major events each year, and key amongst those is Fasnacht. The Basler Fasnacht is the largest event each year, not just in Basel, but in the whole of Switzerland. It all starts with the Morgenstreich at 4 a.m. on the Monday after Ash Wednesday, and it goes on for three days and nights until the Endstreich at 4 a.m. on the following Thursday morning. It's an amazing event to experience and something I would highly recommend if you ever get the chance. You can get some more detail about Fastnacht in our Fastnacht video, and I'll put a link there to that video in the description below. Now, apart from Fastnacht, Basel also holds a number of other significant events throughout the year. I'm not going to go into every one in detail, but it's worth noting that we have Art Basel, which is a world-renowned celebration of art. We have Basel World, which is a huge watch fair held here every year. We have the Herbstmesse, which is our fall carnival during the autumn and before winter hits. And we also have the Weihnachtsmarkt, which is our beautiful Christmas market. Each year in summer, we also have the Basel Tattoo, which is like a smaller scaled down version of the Edinburgh Tattoo, also something worth experiencing. The Rheinschwimmen is also worth a special mention. During the summer each year, we jump into the Rhine River and float downstream a couple of kilometres, have a beer, a bratwurst, and then head home. Every year there's an organised mass Rheinschwimmen where thousands of people simultaneously float down the Rhine River together. It's a brilliant way to cool off on a hot summer's day. So I'm sure I've failed to mention more events than I've mentioned here in this video. So help me out here. What's your favourite event here in Basel? What would you recommend to visitors coming here so that they can experience some of the rich culture and traditions that we have to offer in this amazing city? Leave us a comment in the comments section down below and help other people out so that they can experience this wonderful city of Basel. <laughs> Let's talk about restaurants for a moment. Now having lived here for seven years, we've certainly tried a lot of restaurants during that time. Um, so I'm not going to give you a blow-by-blow -blow restaurant review. I'm just going to quickly run through a list of my favourite go-to places here in Basel. If you agree or if you disagree with me, feel free to leave a comment below with your favourite restaurant recommendations so that we can all share and benefit from your experience. So one of my favourite places is the Schlusselzunft, which is a Michelin star restaurant down um, in Freierstrasse. Very, very nice, very upmarket, quite expensive, but very good. Um, for classic, classic and classy Swiss fare at reasonable Swiss prices, I'd try the Volkshaus. Um, if you're looking for a schnitzel or a fondue during the winter, the Valasicana uh, is one of my favourites. Uh, for the vegans among, among us, you can try Tibbets. Um, if you fancy a burger and a bit of hard rock, you can try Lunique. Uh, Union Burgers is also a fairly decent burger place. Um, a favourite curry shop is Mandir. And if you're looking for just a, a Swiss pub type of experience, then the Brauner Mutz in Barfi is a, is a pretty good bet. Okay, let's have a bit of fun at my expense here. This is the shop of Johann Wanner, and it's the Weihnachtsbaumschmuck 
Ausstattung Spezial Geschäft. So let's see if that pronunciation is any good, but it basically means the Christmas tree jewelry furnishing special business. And it's a world famous business here in Basel. And he's done work for the White House and for the Queen of England. It's a very famous business. So I'd like to talk a little bit about things that you can see and do while you're visiting Basel. Now, first of all, Basel is not a huge city. Its population is only 200,000 people, but it is a very, very beautiful cultural and historical city. Now, there's a large number of art galleries and museums in Basel that you can visit if that's your thing. The Basel Kunstmuseum in particular is, the, in fact, the oldest publicly accessible museum in the world. You should take some time and go and visit the Munsterplatz, where the old uh, Munster, the church, sits. It's very beautiful up there. You can walk around and look out over the Rhine. There's a beautiful view back towards the township of Basel there. Um, you can use your free tram ticket that comes with your hotel room in order to get about and explore the city. Or if you prefer, you can hire a bike and you can ride around town. You should definitely take some time to explore the Altstadt, including Barfuserplatz, Marktplatz and the Rathaus, the city hall. At any stage, it's beautiful to go for a stroll along the banks of the Rhine River on either side of the river, to be honest. Um, you can really get a great view of Basel there. You see people out enjoying themselves, having barbecues and picnics. There's cafes and restaurants along the banks of the Rhine. Um, it really is a fantastic way to spend some time. And if you get the opportunity, if you're here during summer, I highly recommend you grab yourself a Wickelfisch and go for a Rheinschwimmen. It really is refreshing and it's a great part of living in Basel. So if you've enjoyed this wee video, give us a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any future content that we load. You all have a great day. Bye.